Hello everyone, welcome to the weekly tutorial provided by Escape Studios. My name is Federico, I'm the 3D VFX tutor for the first year undergrad. Today we're going to talk how we can easily integrate your CG elements without any camera information. As you probably already know, one of the most critical aspects of integrating your CG elements is matching the perspective, something that cannot be easily done if you don't have the camera information, like for example, if you take like the properties, if you look at the details of this JPEG, like most of the picture that you can find on the internet, here in details, the only information provided here is the mention. We don't have the camera that has been used, so we can retrieve the sensor size and we don't have the focal lens. So if this is your case, what you can do is use SPI. SPI is an open source to image camera matching that can be easily used on any escape machine, just download it because it does not require any installation. Once you download it, you double click and you want to drag the image that you want to work with on top of it. Here we go, and this is gonna look like. You may want to turn off the team image so you can place your image. And the only thing you wanna do is to grab one of the extremities of this gizmo or this controller in order to match the straight lines in your picture. In this way, the software for you will have enough information to try to guess the focal lens. I'm gonna do this with the y-axis, I know it's the one is pointing up. I'm gonna use the old extremities. I'm gonna do something a little bit more like that. And I'm gonna do the, I'm gonna say take a second line. I'm gonna do the same thing for this line. If you want to be more precise while you're holding the extremities, you can keep pressing shift. It's gonna zoom in, it can be more precise, something like that. Now I'm gonna take these, the x-axis and I'm gonna try to match the other lines in another direction and maybe I can use this one to match one of the lines on the floor like that. There you go. Now if you want to have like the world axis orientation like in Maya you can simply switch from X to minus Z and to Y to minus Y and now it's, it's matching. Cool. Now I think the software has enough information to Try to calculate the focal length. I'm gonna click here, and this is what I got. I got like a 58. Uh, don't forget, we're probably working with the wrong sensor size. Since Maya doesn't not support the SPI format, so we cannot export the camera, we're gonna just copy this file. One more thing you can do right before leaving SPI is go to the 3D guide and select a box, and you can take it this from the pivot point and try to match this according to the corner in order to have a look how your 3D element will look like in Maya. This is not too bad. Okay, we are back in Maya. As you can see, I already created my camera and I already connected the image to my camera. And you can see from here. And the resolution is already matching the one from the image. Next thing we wanna do is go to the render come shape node and we want to paste the, the, the value that we copied from the SPI. Find the focal lens and just paste. You go and now we go the 57.9 that we have in back in uh, spy next thing we want to do is try to do the, the first line up for the grid something like that nothing too complex it doesn't need to be perfect and we want to lock your camera next thing i'm going to do i'm going to switch to the two panels layout i prefer to work in this way and i'm going to create a cube i'm going to scale the cube a little bit so i can work with it a little bit better and i'm going to change the pivot position and i'm going to snap it on the yeah, bottom left corner, going back to my scene, and I want to do the same thing that I did like in SPI. I want to grab my cube and I want to place it right here at the corner, trying to match the lines. And I'm gonna make a little bit bigger. There you go, something like that. Now, what you want to do oh, a little bit more, what you want to do is selecting your cube using the rotating tool, go to the channel box, and you want to start rotating the box according to any of the axis X, Y, or Z. I'm probably gonna change rotate the Y axis a little bit, something like that. I'm probably gonna rotate Y axis. Something like that. And now what I can do using the multi cut I can start creating the vertical lines and see if they are actually matching. As you can see, this is not too bad. And oh, one more thing before I start creating lines, let me go back, is I want to go to my perspective and I want to delete the, the faces that I don't need from my cube. This is actually what I'm gonna need. 
and again now I can use the multi-cut and then you can clearly see how the lines are perfectly matching both vertically and horizontally. It's not too bad and now you can start modeling a little bit better your scene and you can grab these two faces and you can push it like that you go and you can delete the faces that you don't actually need. And we go, that's how you can use a spy in order to match your perspective in Maya without any camera information. Hopefully this is gonna help you with your project and I'll see you next time.